Last time we talked about the anime Lost in Space, an anime with nice plot and details, but because of its generic title, easily ignored. When I was making that video, I realized another anime I had watched that was similar to Lost in Space, an anime ignored by people because of its title. You're probably wondering what the title of the anime is, but I swear, half of the viewers after knowing the title wouldn't want to watch it anyways. Yo, uh, you got any anime you could recommend to me? Oh, of course, I got you. I have a very nice anime to recommend to you. Its name is Gotcha Man. Hello? Anyone home? Most people after hearing this title might think that this is a new Kamen Rider show. A bunch of high schoolers wearing colorful suits and fighting enemies from space. If you think this is what actually happens, you're totally right. I can't argue against that. But if this anime didn't have any special perks, it wouldn't appear on my channel. When we talk about Gotcha Man, some viewers might think of the Gotcha Man show that was broadcast in 1972. But this new Gotcha Man anime, other than the name, is not related in any way to the older show. The scenes of this anime are very colorful, so it's very easy to misinterpret this anime as a children's show. But the plots of this anime are a harsh reflection, as well as the satirical nature of society. This anime mainly talks about how the internet and atmosphere influences people and society. The atmosphere I'm mentioning is not the air that we breathe, but rather the opinion of most people. The moral of the first season helps us solve the problematic question we've always had. If internet trolls had power in real life, what will happen? In this anime, a person named Rui invents a super AI called X, and this AI can help people in society choosing their best choices and helping them solve every problem. This AI only exists in the future world. For example, if a car crash happens, X will understand the situation immediately and request the nearest doctor or hospital to do an emergency rescue. It's pretty much like a super Siri, but this Siri also has superb morales and Sakurati's voice. Hey Siri, can you marry me? Let's just be friends, okay? This Siri can also give the ability to give people power, which allows them to create a simulated character in the real world. All they need to do is access their phone to create a simulated character anywhere they want and do anything they want to do. But Rui really restricts the power, which makes them only have the ability to help people. Man, I must say, Rui is quite cute, right? <sighs> Why is the cast voice male? Why are you betraying me? <clears throat> I'm sure someone will ask, Hey, this anime is called Gotcha Man, right? How is what you're saying related to Gotcha Man in any way? Ah yes, good question. I have no idea. Because in this anime, the Gotcha Man does not have a very strong presence. And most characters in the Gotcha Man play as a negative example in the show to show conflict. The members on the Gotcha Man team includes a mascot panda, a horror man who enjoys the superhero atmosphere, an indeterminable gender member, an audience surrogate who extremes estrus to a notebook, a girl in a bikini which triggers my PTSD, and an old geezer who has no idea what he's talking about. In conclusion, no one in his organization is normal, and the only mature member left constantly gets bullied. The title of the show is actually Gotcha Man Crowds. Crowds in this case means a group of people and how they impact the individual. The last boss of the first season is Mamoru. He has the ability to change his surface into another person. He tried to implement a domino effect and crowds to indirectly destroy the world. And the scientist's sound will never disappoint me. <laughs> Then he takes over Siri's power from Rui and gives most people the ability to simulate their character into the real world and liberates the restriction. Finally! Hey, imagine this. It's just like giving internet trolls GTA and anything they do in game will be reflected into the real world. Some players will release their unsatisfied emotions and the social structure will collapse. If you are a gotcha man in this situation, what are you gonna do? Quit. Too many stupid teammates to carry. Fight and try to stop the crowds, or find Mamoru and beat him, her, it up. But they choose D to have the Japanese Prime Minister on a live stream, and they give all the people the ability of crowds, stopping crowds by crowds. So the scientist's plan just fails, and he gets sealed into the main character's body. After this, we have the second season. Compared with the first season, I more prefer the second season, but I also understand why people don't like the second season. 
because the main character of the second season is the most annoying type of person in society. Her mother gives her a large brain, but she never seems to use it once. She always follows others' thinking and ignores the good advice others give her. She's like a dumber version of Gamma Yuta, and that guy is very, very dumb. And the second season mainly focuses on society's herd mentality. Imagine this. A person who has their own opinions. Pretty normal. But their opinions only occupy a small percentage of society's opinions. They're scared of saying their own opinions because others will judge and harass them. Therefore, they hide their own opinions and pretend they agree with everybody else's to protect themselves from others' bullying. Usually this case is hard to be discovered, but it exists somewhere in society. The anime uses an exaggerated but funny way to solve this conflict. The second season is talking about a red-faced alien who comes to Earth, and a new girl who becomes Gacha Man. This red-faced alien can absorb others' emotions and empathize with their thinking. For making the world better, he decides to become the Japanese Prime Minister. Ah, uh, Mr. Abe, your life must be difficult with so many people wanting to become Prime Minister. During this time, a mad scientist wants to use crowds to abolish the laws which allows everyone to use crowds. Therefore, he prepares to destroy the city and is stopped by the Gacha Man and sent to prison. And after the red face becomes Prime Minister, he establishes a voter system. This system pretty much allows Japanese citizens to use a mobile phone to decide how the country runs, and this achieves total democracy. On the other hand, Kusamas come out of people's bubbles, and they can do anything and say anything to help people feel comfortable, and create a new world where most people would like. You know, this sounds very good for most people. Like a perfect world, a utopia. But for a few of them, living in this society is very tough. The people who want to lead this atmosphere zone will have a very difficult life because if they don't follow most people's opinion, they might get eaten by the Kusamas. Since then, humans lost their own opinions and gives their decisions to others. It's similar to an anime we talked about in the last video, Lost in Space, where it slowly becomes a dystopia fiction. As Mr. Orange said, most people that live in this country are apes because they already lost their biggest ability as humans, which is their thinking. And apes tend to mimic other people's movements. So in this whole anime, there is no specific villain other than brainless species leading other brainless species into a goddamn chaos. To solve this problem, the Gatchaman uses live streams to get injured and beaten up to inspire the viewers in society to allow them to decide for themselves instead of giving the choice to the government. This is a unique aspect in this anime compared to most superhero shows. That's because there is no absolute right or wrong answer. For Rui's plan, he wants to update the world and create a perfect world where everyone will help each other. Amazing, right? This plan is corrupt with me, but for human society, it's a bit too early because they don't have much time to accept crowds. This rule also works for Redface. He understands most people's emotions, but the thinking of most people does not always mean it's right. And indirectly depriving people's voting power, as well as eating away at people's different opinions, slowly turns from a democracy to a dictatorship. The atmosphere in this anime is very easily changed as the tiniest thing can affect people's moods. Maybe today could be a great day for you, but tomorrow Kusama could eat you up. At the end of the story, crowds and Kusamas continue to coexist with one another, leaving a feeling of mystery and suspense to the audience. I really like these types of endings, just like how Code Geass ended, if not for that freaking movie. But it feels as if there are some cons in this anime as well. The characters in this anime are like tools, and the only reason they get screen time is to express the negative influences that occur throughout the show. For instance, Sugane in the second season has no presence at all. He just continues enjoying the environment around himself. We also have Pai Pai and Tsubasa, the kind of people who never try to see others' perspectives. If you want to watch the show, you should try to imagine her as the last boss of the show and try to reduce the actions of the main character. You know, this can damage your audience brain. Although I already mentioned the characters, I really need to mention the main character in this anime, Hajime. She has a very strong personality, but her personality is not like she's smart or very strong. It's just like she's an audience watching the show and understands everything very clearly. During the second season, we can see her emotion circle is gray, and the other one who has gray is an old man who experienced World War II. This kind of emotion is one that won't be impacted by others and allows the user to think for themselves. If you want to recommend this anime to others, tell them, If you watch this anime, you can see a beautiful man wearing women's clothing. A crazy mad scientist from Steins Gate. Kana Hanazawa becoming Tomokazu Sugita. And Bikini Saya. At the end of the video, I just want to mention that Gacha Man is a celebration of Japanese TV for 60 years, as well as Tatsunoko production celebration of 50 years. They also help participate making Neon Genesis Evangelion and the Super Dimension Fortress Macross as well as mentoring up some very good anime producers like Kunio Akawara, Mamoru Oshii, and Yushitaka Amano. 
But after 1980, this anime company slowly broke up. And to prevent this anime from breaking up, they decided to do a very amazing anime to try to revive and also celebrate 40 years of this company. This anime is called Karas. And it's played in 2005, but it includes some of the best 3D battle scenes I've ever seen. And in the 1970s, it was very rare to see this type of production. But this anime did not help revive them. Rather, it helped increase the speed at which they broke up. After the first three episodes of Karas, they ran out of money and had to borrow from others. After three months of Karas being broadcasted, the toy company Takara purchased the company. So fortunately, this company is still making some anime like Gachiman, and they still make anime in 2019, which is... The Price of Smiles. Oh. Why you betray me? ゲイ。